Jasmine Singh from Achiever Squadron, presently undergoing training at the Indian Naval Academy. Before joining the Academy, I knew that the training would be difficult. And to my expectations, the Academy wrung out every last bit of effort from me every single day. Being an integral part of various squadron activities, I've had the good fortune of being able to do what I could have never even dreamt of. To name a few, cross country, academics, camps, waterman ship and sail training, weapon training including small arms firing, swimming and various other sports. Along with mental and physical conditioning, my emotional and intellectual development was also improved by the training which I have undergone here at the academy. It was indeed a privilege to have been trained in this renowned and one of the world's best naval academies. I am Cadet Yogi Artandi from Indonesia. The Indian Nepal Academy in Azimala is Asia's largest Nepal Academy. True to its name, it has made significant achievement in training, not only Indian trainees, but also international trainees from friendly foreign countries. Today, as I pass out from the hallowed portals of the Academy, I am convinced that I am well versed in fundamental level combat and have a broad understanding of the subject. One of my best experiences during the training is rookie camp. The camp was tiring but challenging. Instructors taught us a lot of valuable lessons that would benefit us in the future. Games further aid in teamwork and camaraderie among course mates. The most advantageous aspect is the assistance it offered in establishing relationship with foreign countries. I had a great time at INA and I am grateful to the Academy. It's hard to say goodbye to INA and India. My heartfelt gratitude to all officers, instructors and course mates. Goodbye. I am Midshipman Estable Sudhyanga from the Sri Lanka Navy. The four years of training at INA, Sumela have prepared me with all of the skills I need to be a successful engineering officer in the Navy. From the beta curriculum to outdoor training, every part of my training at INA has equipped me with the necessary skills set to carry out my responsibilities to the best of my abilities. Furthermore, the Academy's teaching team has instilled appropriate acts of values and principles in me at every stage allowing me to adhere to the key beliefs and tenets of my accomplishment. Apart from that, my outdoor training at INA, which mostly consists of physical training, swimming, drill, watermanship and equestrian training, has made me physically fit as required by my goals and has instilled in me a feeling of discipline and knowledge of health and physical fitness. My name is Kenneth Ahmad Dirfan from Maldives. It is everyone's dream to be able to represent their nation at international forums. Earlier this year, I was granted with the unique opportunity to join Indian Naval Academy at Imala for my course. The training at INA is a lot similar with training back in my academy, but the focus here is on the holistic development of a cadet. It is not just physical and mental training that is ensured here, but also the moral values that get ingrained during training. The institution has treated me as if I were an Indian cadet rather than a foreign training. INA's attitude and principle filled my heart with pride and I am glad to name it as my alma mater. I am Midshipman A. A. Shihabu Sagipsiam from Bangladesh Navy. First and foremost, as the first Bangladesh officer to pass out from Indian Naval Academy, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to Almighty for providing me the opportunity to train at the Asia's largest Naval Academy, INA. On the eve of my valedictory speech at INA, I would like to thank all of my instructors, divisional officers, squadron commanders and of course my course mates of 102 Virastaras. This training has provided me with opportunities to go to numerous foreign countries and different ports of India. The exhilarating days of sailing on board INS Tarangini and INS Steel have made me a brave mariner. When I first went into INA after completing one year of training at Bangladesh Naval Academy, every moment was a new experience for me. I have gone through vigorous training and adversity which helped me to become a competent naval leader. Standing here, I can still recall the restless nights of camps, jumping from a 10 meters swimming pool, running 12 km cross country and hearing the 5.5mm instars rifle explosion. I owe a debt of gratitude to INA for all of this. I will do all in my power to uphold the name of this wonderful institution and serve to the best of my ability as the man I have become today. This brings me to the end of my speech, goodbye INA, goodbye India, let the bridge of friendship between India and Bangladesh strengthen.
It's indeed a privilege to review the passing out parade today. And at the outset, my congratulations to the 250 cadets of the passing out courses, which include the 102nd INAC, the 32nd NOC extended course, and the 34th and 35th NOC regular. All of you can be justifiably proud for having successfully endured the rigors and challenges of training at the INA, both mental and physical. I know very well that it is not an easy task. My compliments also to each one of you for the impeccable turnout, the good military bearing and the smart drill that I just witnessed. Nothing less is expected from the trainees of INA, the Asia's largest naval academy. This is also a reflection of the high standards of training being imparted at the INA. So well done to all of you on parade, off parade and all those working behind the scenes to make this parade a great success. I also extend my greetings and compliments to the parents of the passing out cadets. The nation will remain grateful to you for raising such fine children and dedicating them to the service of the country and not merely to do a job. It is expected that these young warriors will be sent in harm's way. But I can assure you that wherever they go, they will always be fully trained, well prepared, well equipped, highly motivated, well supported and enabled by the service in every way. I am sure that each one of them will make all of you proud. The Indian Naval Academy has rendered human service to the country and the successful passing out of 250 cadets today is an outcome of the untiring efforts of the personnel, their diligence, dedication to duty and the commitment of the faculty and the staff here. They have toiled hard to impart the best in terms of exposure, expertise, experience and ethos to these young trainees. To them too, I offer my congratulations. And before I conclude, my heartiest congratulations once again to all the passing out cadets, the award winners and the champions cordon. Those of you who have not got any awards, don't be disheartened, work harder and you will get your due. As I said, ours is a meritocratic service. In a few moments from now, you will no longer be boys or girls who join the INA. So with these thoughts, I wish all the passing out trainees an exciting and satisfying career ahead. Go forth, master the seas and keep the world safe. Good order at sea and peace is not achieved overnight. It is attained through sustained deployment and the efforts of personnel like you on a 24-7, 365 days basis. Jai Hind, Sanavaran.